Hey everyone, this is Mark, and today on Oh the Places We've Been, I'm talking about Litchfield, Connecticut, and the neighboring town of Bantam. So, feel of the town. Litchfield is a quaint, colonial-style environment. It has well-kept landscaping and roads. It has an upscale, country kind of feel. And the downtown is relatively small, but one of the nicest, older, small-town drags that I've seen. It's really a very quaint downtown, and there's nothing like closed or abandoned. It's, it's all very operational, very nice, and very relevant stores. There are a lot of restaurants. Eats and drinks for food in Bantam. The notable thing is that there's this farm called Arethusa that owns a nice restaurant, an ice cream shop, and a coffee shop. And while I didn't go to dinner at the restaurant, we did go to the ice cream shop one evening and I went to the coffee shop almost every day. The butter croissants are very, very good. Speaking of coffee, while Arethusa does have craft coffee, there's also a great roaster in town called Crafted Brew Lab. I got to know the owner a little bit and I would highly recommend checking that place out if you like coffee. He has a lot of pride in his craft and it is very good. As far as alcohol is concerned, I didn't see any bars or pubs around. You can still, of course, get drinks at any restaurant you visit. But um, yeah, I don't know. The only drinking I did was around our campfire at the campground. Now for the family factor. We stayed at Cozy Hills Campground, which has a lot of daily activities. That's the only place we really noted a lot of kid-friendly stuff. And I wouldn't call like Litchfield and Bantam a children's paradise, but it didn't seem like they hated kids or anything. There is a farmer's market on Saturdays that a lot of people visit. And the ice cream shop in Bantam that I mentioned is a very popular place. There were always kids and families there. For museums and attractions, I didn't see anything that stood out, but there definitely is a great local library where I spent a lot of time working on stuff throughout the week so I'd recommend going there if you need to get some work done. Wheels, pedals, and shoes. Biking. I didn't notice any biking paths other than a bike lane on the road and I mean like there's a lot of side streets so you can totally take your bike out on any road you want. There's not a lot of traffic on the side roads. Same goes for walking trails. I didn't see anything special aside from regular neighborhood sidewalks, but there were always people walking on those. The roads, sometimes they're great and sometimes they suck. In Litchfield, the roads are pretty good, but that's not always the case in other places of the state. Really, the big takeaway is that the drivers are noticeably anxious. You might just have to take my word on it. I mean, we just drove all through the Northeast. And while there were some like angry drivers in New York and Boston, the kit was on a different level, especially in Hartford. It's just not the place to be if you're a slow or timid driver and if you're pulling like a big trailer like us. I mean, we saw four close call accidents while driving through Hartford alone and we were just cut off constantly with and without the trailer. Moving on to the great outdoors and the beauty of surroundings, the thing is, Litchfield and Bantam, and really Connecticut in general, it's a pretty place. You have the ocean, obviously, if you're, at, if you're on the coast, but I mean, the rest of it is like, it's pretty mountainous. Like, there's a lot of hills. It's very hilly. There's a lot of rolling hills. There are like rocky outcroppings and stuff. There are a ton of trees, very green grass, ample streams and ponds. And the weather for us has been amazing. We've experienced mild summer weather while we've been here in the 70s and low 80s, and it's just been a mixture of like sunny and cloudy, really just the perfect summer weather. For a campground review, as I said before, we stayed at Cozy Hills, and that campground has been pretty decent. They have a lot of good campsites. The spots aren't too close together. There's separate room to park. The thing is they have a lot of activities planned for every single day. They even have like a cafe they open on the weekends. The coolest thing is that they have these large electronic play diggers and my son was just bonkers for those. They are really, really cool. Other than that, there is a very well-kept pool, a playground, gaga ball, whatever that is, horseshoes, and there were a lot of families around. The only downsides of Cozy Hills was that the roads aren't paved and they're kind of rocky, so it makes for rough walking and biking. We really didn't have a good time trying to push the bike stroller around. And the only real improvement I would suggest is that they should clean up their pond. I mean, they have this pond, this like small lake that would just be awesome. And there's these little boats and canoes they have that you can just use. Um, but there's just so much algae all over the place that like, I wouldn't want to really go out there. The really cool thing about Litchfield and Bantam is that the towns are so old. Houses for sale are old, like 1700s old and like early 1800s old. 
they're crazy expensive. Doing a search on Zillow with no filters yields several houses that are over a million dollars and really nothing else, but they are really cool looking estates. One nice thing is that diesel has been cheaper here than other places, so that's been really nice. And this is definitely a great place for church, like Connecticut in general. There are so many of them. They have so much history. They are really cool looking and they often seem to be the cornerstone of the town, at least physically. There's just a lot of history, and there's a lot of history in Connecticut from a ton of different angles. A couple things I've been able to do while in the area have been to go to Bridgeport and see the Goo Goo Dolls concert uh, live at the Hartford Amphitheater. That was really fun. It was a really cool venue and really enjoyed that. The other thing I got to do was swing by the Hard Rock Cafe in Foxwoods, as you can see by this shirt. I collect Hard Rock shirts, so it was really cool to grab this one. It is definitely not the easiest one to get to. You have to take a lot of back roads to get there, but it was awesome to add it to the collection. Our overall impression of Litchfield and Bantam is that we definitely liked it. We would totally consider living here if housing was more affordable. For now, it remains a great place to visit, and I'm really glad we came here, and I would definitely rather be here than other places in the state. I think that wraps it up. Let us know in the comments if you've been to Litchfield or Bantam and what you think of the area. Maybe we missed something in Connecticut. Let us know where we should have gone. But for now, we'll continue on in our travels. Please subscribe and like this video and I'll see you in the next one.